Eugene story quest. Okay, fine, I'll do Eugene's story quest. I'll do that for you, Patrick. Uh, Master's Day off. Uh, when the west wind arises. Back to Mondstadt again. Okay, fine, we're doing this. Okay, talk to Sarah about her problem. Oh, it's you. Over here. Over here. It's you. It's Sarah, <laughs> the good hunter. Just look in point. Oh, finally, I caught you. Yes, you did. Sorry, I already ate. Is something wrong, Sarah? I have something I'd like the Knights of Bavonius to do for me, and I want you to pass on my request to the acting Grand Master. Why would someone from a butcher shop want to contact the Knights? Oh, so it's Jean you were really hoping to see. How the hell do you know about that, Paimon? You are close with her. Uh, we're like peas in a pod. I'm her loyal slave. <laughs> really? It must be a good feeling knowing Jean's got your back. <laughs> Anyway, what was it you wanted us to tell Jean? Oh, yes. I must apologize for being unable to visit the Knights in person, but the restaurant has been so busy lately. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's right in this busy season that the route between here and Springvale, which is used for the delivery of our ingredients, seems to have been occupied by the Hillichurls. In other words, kill stuff. The problem is that the suppliers in Springvale say that deliveries have nothing to nice. do with them. You want them. the nice to clear They're the road? You want someone to teach those hunters a lesson? What? No! How is that going to help? Uh, how is that going to help? Please, ask Master Jean to send a party to clear up the hilly trolls from the road to Springvale. Fine. Oh, help at last. Seems like everyone really trusts Jean. Oh, I nearly forgot. Charles, the bartender, said he's been having some trouble, too. Everybody's got problems! Why don't you stop by and see him on the way? Fine. In for a penny, in for a pound is the Paimon way! But no. this is really stretching the definition of on the way, in my opinion. No, well, maybe. Oh my god, Paimon sounds so different here. Mm, yeah, now that I notice. Uh, Master's Day off, Leo Minot, Chapter Act 1. There what you do are. you think this is, kiddo? The fruit juice store? Uh, I don't know. Do you have alcohol? <sighs> How rude! Especially since we're here to help! What do you think this is? A frickin' bar? Help? <laughs> oh, yes. You're the acting Grandmaster's new hotshot helper, aren't you? Yes. Uh, that's one way of putting it. And what other way will you put it, Paimon? I'm really curious. Great. Tell Jean I need my quarterly tax return forms, then. Hmm. It's time to get Elzer on to doing the accounts again. I must say, though, the tax rate on alcohol in Mondstadt is pretty steep. So you do serve alcohol. Do you really need to get Jean involved with this stuff like this? Acting Grandmaster Jean personally goes over all the accounts. After mm -hmm. all, the wine industry is Mondstadt's main source of income. Paimon never knew that. Jean's job is even harder than it seems. She's a tax collector. The acting Grandmaster's hard work indeed makes our lives a whole lot easier. Yeah, because you put all the work on her. We're certainly very lucky, but to put it bluntly, we just take it for granted that that's the norm now. Yeah, because you can't learn to do stuff yourself. Wow. How do you sleep at night knowing how much pressure you put Jean under? Uh, that's basically how he sleeps. He, he just doesn't care. <sighs> when you put it like that, I do feel quite ashamed. Although, I doubt the acting Grand Master even has the time to spare for that. Sounds like a poor excuse to deny Jean a free drink. Come on, let's go and see Jean. Yeah, and uh, basically tell her that everybody is taking advantage of her. I should... Oops! I Where broke my legs! You, you too. Margaret? What are you like? They, she had a request. Have you seen it? No. <sighs> this is a bit worrying. I would love to what help, but find his way home. I guess we gotta wait for you guys. Nah, you're always such a big softy. But Sarah and Charles need our help urgently too. Let's go and see Jean first. You're okay. on the way to see Jean? What a coincidence. Everybody's on the way to see Jean. Well, I meant thought you were looking for a cat. Yes, I wanted to see if Jean could help look for my cat. Everybody is trying to get Jean to do stuff for her, for them. My god, everybody's lazy. Seriously? You want Jean to help look for your cat? 
Because people are stupid and lazy in this game. Well, what's wrong with that? Uh, a lot a nice of things. Person. Yeah, but good people finish last. Please mention it to Jean for me. I'll treat you to a brew at Cat's Tail later. Okay. I'm getting favors from hey. everybody. Hey! Ugh, unbelievable! Guess the case of Prince the Missing Cat is... Guess, uh, people are... This is what would happen if superheroes actually existed in real life. In a way, yes, because people can't solve their own problems. Because when a superhero exists... Now that you mention it, Patrick, it's this idea that... Like, nobody takes care of their own problems. And it becomes a huge problem for everybody. We just expect the strong man to do it for everybody. Uh, acting Grandmaster? Oh, she's under a lot of pressure. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, Jean. Jeannie, Jean, Jean. Behold the Dandelion Knight herself. Oh, it's our honorary knight. How can I assist? Everybody wants your help. Everyone all at once. Actually, it's not us who need your help. It's a bunch of other people. I see. Well, thank you for your service to the people of Mondstadt. I have made a note of these commissions in my files, and I will... <clears throat> She's tired. According Great! And then we she got a password out. We commissions, did we? Sarah's Hilly Charles, Charles Tax Return, Margaret's Cat... She's barely Jean, staying that's awake. Everything. We'll be on our way then, Jean. Yep, passed right out. Jean, are you okay? She's exhausted. <laughs> Something's wrong with Jean. Bring her to the cathedral in search of assistance. Cause no, this is what happens when everybody puts their problems on somebody. Jean holding up. Is it serious? It's just burnout from work stress. She'll be fine after a good old rest. Thanks yep. for bringing her here. She may have tried to keep soldiering on otherwise. It's not a surprise though. She does have a lot to get through every day. Poor Jean. Come back, Jean's original She's design is a whole too hard while overlooking her, her but own. They changed it. Yeah, I'm sure they changed it for a reason. This isn't the first time something like this has happened. She really has a tough, doesn't she? Uh seems like you really care about Jean, because oh, you're uh, her sister. You think so? I, I I mean she's the acting grandmaster and all. And so so you know it's not like this is a personal thing. It's just out of love for concern really? for the greater good. Yes, that's it. I really feel like there's wording here, but I'll leave it at that. What's up with Barbara? Hmm. Huh. Weird. <laughs> anyway, you're an honorary knight, aren't you? <laughs> While the master is down, the knights should share her burden. No? That's a very good point, but... Shouldn't one of the Jean has so much to do. And if you should go and check in at the headquarters. My mom feels like she's trying to get rid of us. Why is that? Because I don't know. Nothing. We'll leave you to it. <laughs> Come on, let's <sighs> Barbara hides the fact that she's Jean's sister. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All up here and break my legs. Don't break my legs. I didn't break my oh, legs. It's kind Yes, it is! Obvious statement is obvious! I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting for you, cliche. <laughs> Everything is turned into cliche. Ill. On behalf of all of the Knights of Favonius. So uh -huh. courteous and polite. This isn't the Kaya Paimon knows. Really? I thought it was. I, I, I usually thought it was, because, like, when he's not in a conflict with D. Luke, there, he usually has his own thing going on. But I guess everybody thought it was just a, the sibling rivalry thing. <laughs> well, the circumstances warrant it. This is the acting Grand Master herself we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Now, in addition to that thank you message... You have a job. Was, it's like you read my mind. We have quite a connection, don't you think? No, it's not even a, a question about reading minds. It's a question about everybody has a problem. And I see a reoccurring pattern. You don't have to read someone's mind to look at patterns. Things like helping to fill in for Jean. Right. Although the commissions you reported to Jean have already been handed off to someone else, I am concerned that they will not be handled with due care. <clears throat> without so I am hoping that you can help out. 
where you see fit. Do you care with a personal touch? I will feel much more at ease knowing that the honorary knight is personally overseeing these cases. You can flatter us all you want, but answer me this. Why don't you do it? Hmm. That's the best uh, question that Paimon would ever ask. Why doesn't anyone solve their own problems? <laughs> oh, I have far more important matters to attend to. Yeah, oh, and so uh, you always have to pass up to somebody else. <sighs> Fine then. So it's Sarah, Charles, and Margaret. Those are the ones. I appreciate the help. See. See, and then they cut off. Oh, there's Venti. So, yours is the cat that went missing. Venti! Me here to help you? Why, on the contrary, it is I who needs the helping. Oh my god! People are stupid! <laughs> but, Paimon just saw you talking to Margaret about Prince! Aha! Uh -huh. So, Prince is the name of the feline fiend who, though it gladdens my heart to see that the free spirited ethos of Mondstadt is alive. <laughs> All I want to do is slap He's everyone! Slap girl. everyone! <laughs> It's like I've lost patience. I need help. Okay. I need help. Okay. I need help. Okay. <laughs> yes. Quite. Quite. Uh, by the time we actually get to solve a problem, Let's we don't do anything. Ourselves. I have a performance tonight, and without my spare strings, I shall have to disappoint my audience. How many problems did I pile on? How many problems am I going to be able to solve? Can I actually find the cat? Can I actually do something about the tax forms? Can I actually do something about clearing the hilly churl wine path? Can I do something about the strings, or am I just going to collect problems? What would a kitty cat want with liar string? Everyone knows cats go crazy for a ball of string. Yeah, for a ball of string possibly made out of yarn or cotton. But, like, guitar strings? I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's a thing. This is what Gene deals with every day. People are stupid. What? These liar strings are made of astral iron, which contains animal energy. That makes them that's a trick of the trade from a traveling bard. No, that's just you dealing with strings. The strings contain and that'll help us. It's time for you to use your elemental sight to get I'm unsure there must be Thank you all. Prince should be somewhere around the market. Okay. Oh, take this fish. It's a little Okay. Take this fish. Hold hold a raw fish with your bare hands. Hold elemental sight. One France. Oh wait, I actually do see it. It's right here. There you are. You can see it. Get over here. No, got you. Get over here. Shut up and shut up and don't talk anymore. Ugh. You got your cat. Commission done. Next! Where are running off to? We definitely had our work. Oh, Prince. Looks like those two need some time to depend. Here are your astral iron strings, Fenty. Wait, what? I didn't get the strings, or did I? You found them! <laughs> I dare say that a private performance played using these very same strings. Uh. 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 <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> At this distance, my cat allergy seems to be rearing its head. Oh, okay. now Paimon gets why you didn't. <laughs> because anyway, you have a cat allergy. For the help. I'll be going now. <laughs> You're not even gonna let me skip that. Dawn. There be Lisa. Lisa, are you here about the tax return? No. She has another problem. She has another problem. Oh, hello, darling. You're quite right. After I heard about poor Jean, I thought I might lend a hand with some of her more literary duties. Oh, well, if we're not... Wait a moment. Actually, Charles here was wondering... What? Please, allow me, ma'am. I just took a rather important order. But unfortunately, we've run completely dry. If it's not too much trouble... Could you go and do something about this logistical nuisance? Kill the chili, Charles! So urgent about this order. <sighs> it came in at the last minute. Exactly. Hence the urgency. Okay. Okay. So this is what you 
where Charles' delivery disappeared too. Have you come to rescue me? I've been waiting long enough. In all okay. the time I've been working at the winery, this is the... If you'd taken any longer, I don't know what I would have done. Fear not! My friend here is a hilly turtle exterminator! Just as well. Then please, escort this transporter to the end Fine. Of the with it. Uh, just beating up the hill. Fine. 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 Move. Fine. Oh god, another escort quest. You. Go easy. Do I have to break this thing? The help on this. There. You go. Okay. There we go. Now I can move along. Move along. Nope. I don't get stuck in the corner. Alright, I'll put your water spells. Takes a while just to get around. Where's that transport balloon? Right here. Where are the rest of them? Don't know. Here? Waiting for me? Uh. Alright, I'll get rid of them. Fast. Ah, uh, this is what you deal with. I can only imagine. How long are we going for? Is it? I managed to get it here. Thank you, my. I'll put in a good word for you with the gentleman at the winery. Yes. <sighs> oh, God. Be Amber. Remember, got it. you gotta finish Fuel Across. Remember, I am. Amber, are you here to help out with Jean's commission? <laughs> oh, hi. Yeah, I was just getting ready. Who better than an outrider to mop up some hilly turtles on the delivery route? Uh, oh, Sarah, what are you still stressing about? You misunderstand me. I don't doubt your abilities. Another bizarre order came in just now. It's like they're hosting a banquet or something. What do you expect when you're working in a butcher shop? <clears throat> you got two big pot slabs of meat sitting in front of you. You think we can help with? I can help with the cooking. Really? You don't mind help? That would be wonderful. Yeah, well, those hilly trolls are going to be a handful too. Well, why don't you take this order? Are you sure she can be trusted? It might end up tasting a bit funky. Okay, first of all, we did a bunch of cooking quests before. Why would you ever have any doubt over my cooking ability? We're well <sighs> past the point of aiming for perfection. This is now a fight to save the Good Hunter's business. Back to right. Okay. For this dish we need... Okay, so, go and get ready. got it. Oh. I got the ingredients. You gotta connect and green the arms. Collect three, three sweet flowers. Did I not do that? Okay, you brought me three sweet flowers and so green. cooking ingredients. Yes. Yes. Give. 
Yep, that's over now. Order number seven is for so Oh god. You did say you'd help Good Hunter out. Let's cook sweet madame. Fine! There. Done. I cooked the sweet madame. Any news on that sweet madame? Yes! I got right here. Take it, sweet madame. One sweet madame received. Mmm. Mm. Since you cook so well, you might as well take this sticky honey roast. Sticky honey roast? That's right. A mainstay of the Good Hunter of the Knights order it almost every time they let me teach you the recipe for a sticky honey roast. Oh, wait, didn't you see it? Your pride and joy? With your cooking skills, I don't think you will be doing it just as soon as that sticky honey roast. Oh! Garb! Done. Ready to cook. I'm still waiting on one sticky honey Got roast. it! Take it! Leave it! Go with it! This is. Wow! Did you really cook this? This is quite simply astonishing! You were born to be a head chef. You are so special! Are we released from kitchen duty now? Yes, thanks ever so much for your help. If you ever get tired of being an adventurer, there will be a job waiting for you at Good Hunter. No. <sighs> I think we're finally finished with the commissions we were doing for Jean. That's just day off, ask Barbara about Jean's like condition. Hi, Barbara. We're back. Yeah, so you stand there looking at the door. Welcome back. <laughs> you must be exhausted. Um, uh, sure you must be exhausted too? Oh, it's nothing. Look, Jean has regained consciousness and should be back to her normal self soon enough. Good. That's great news. Let's but she just left the cathedral. I tried to tell her she needs more rest, but she, she tried to act where? Oh, that huge tree at Windrise? That place is dedicated to Mondstadt's Jean goes there whenever she feels like Barbara, that's some pretty Jean, uh, mentioned it to uh, me. She's still recovering, you know, right? Before she left. Maybe out there on her own, in her condition? That's what I'm worried about. Don't worry, we'll take over nursing duty for now. Great. That puts my mind at rest. Fine. All right. There you are. And also, I need a. Oh! Well. Lady Vanessa, I hope your watch over Mondstadt remains unclouded. Make it easier for me. Or the rest of the world, as you had hoped for. Have become stronger. Huh? <whistles> Gee, Barra sure knows a lot about Jean. Yeah, so. Hi, Dean. Are you feeling much better? I was not expecting you to come here. Are you sure? We saw you beneath the tree just now, leaning on your sword. Are you sure you aren't pushing yourself too hard? You can always rely on the knights. Because don't be like being too damn hard on yourself and not allowing anybody else to take over. Oh, thank you. That means a lot to me. Hearing that boosts my spirits. None are worthy of the tasks I must endure, says the Hard Knight. But I must find a way to cope with minor setbacks like this on my own. Otherwise, how can I be the protector that Mondstadt needs me to be? Because people protector have expectations. That us. You truly revere Vanessa, huh? I do. Vanessa was the first Grandmaster, a kind yet formidable woman. I have always hoped to follow in her footsteps. As the Lion Fang Knight, she courageously overthrew the oppressive ruling aristocracy of her time. Then, she founded the Knights of Havonius and became known as the Dandelion Knight, spreading grace and compassion throughout the land. If only that could happen in real life, but unfortunately the aristocracy does not want to go away quietly. Dandelion Knight? Isn't that your title? Hmm. Actually, all of the Knights of Favonius Masters throughout the ages have inherited the title of Dandelion Knight. Oh, that makes sense now. Because of the animal god? You too want to be as gentle as the Dandelion Knight, and yet as fierce as the lion- Yes, I know it sounds like a huge honor, inheriting both these titles from Vanessa, but I mm -hmm. see it more as a huge responsibility. After all, Yes, Genshin has manga. Wait, what? Venice is from the Genshin manga, by the way. Really? I don't think so, too. Huh? Jean? 
Who's there? Wet. Caught <laughs> red-handed. With what? Finally, an opportunity comes to get rid of the master in a moment of weakness. And then you two show up and ruin everything. Yeah. This Abyss Mage kind of reminds me of someone who just would not leave me alone at work. How did they know about you choosing this moment to strike as a low blow, even for this lot? Mmm, you're right. As long as my name is the Dandelion Knight, I swear I shall not be defeated by such despicable me. <laughs> Since this opportunity has slipped away, I shall now be slipped. And walk away. After him. Jean, you're still recovering. You should go back and rest. No, I must go after him. Jean, you can't keep doing this There's to so yourself. There's so much Lauren Genshin. Why can't you trust us? I know how Jean feels. I, too, also have a similar amount of responsibilities at work where I have to do so much, and it never feels like it's enough. And I, too, always get ripped on at my lowest moment, especially when I'm at work. Uh, I do trust you. But to let an enemy get away like this would be a major dereliction of duty. Mm -hmm. Fine, but at least let us go with you. Uh, thank you for your understanding. Uh. Alright, where is it? Hunt down the Abyss Order opponents! Over there? Over there. That have tried to take you by surprise. By surprise. Nice frame to sneeze at. What? Oh, god damn it! Oh god! <laughs> A few moments later. Like I'll explain later on Discord. Uh, hunt on the abyss mage. Using everybody here. Do it. Do it. Abyss mage. Siege bald. Get over here, Seal Jabal! Uh oh, you exploded! Where the hell did he go? Are you hurt? Oh, darn him in his trap! How badly are you hurt? Oh, one of my own being it. Let me handle this. No, you are in no state to handle. Okay, but before we move out, at least let me. Thanks! You're amazing! Okay. Do you actually get to play as Gene? Yes, I do. Okay, here. Thrown off a cliff. Nice. Can I throw them off a cliff as well? <laughs> no, and unlike all those barbaric G can actually do good shit damage. Okay. Get thrown about! Everyone thrown haplessly up in the air. Done. Read the message above that too. Uh, truly your siblings, they're both healers. Really? Let's 
Nice. Nice. Where are you at? Where are they at? There are they at! Gone. Actually, no, not really. Down her skill. Barbara's help. My condition is better than I thought. Yeah, because you had help. The main thing is that you're safe. Yes, I should at least go and thank Barbara again. <sighs> oh my god. Finally! And there you be. There. Master, you finally returned. The animal archon protects you. Yes. Son? Were you waiting for me? Yes, at the Angel Share. Uh, don't worry, it's Has there been a bar big, fight? But, um, okay. I know I said it's nothing big, but... Alright, how can I put this? They just really need the acting Grandmaster. Huh? Well, if you say so, Swan, I will go. I should not let the other knights down. It's fine. Now that I have had the chance to stretch my legs, I feel much better. Oh, great. For goodness sake, what is happening to the world? Swan used to be the most honest fellow. Now he's dumping things on the team. Well, Swan was clearly agitated. Maybe it is an emergency after all. Okay. Then you walk away. Seriously, everybody has problems. There's never a, a point in which nobody has a problem. Oh, God. Hmm. Is this a culmination of everything? Oh, what's all this? It's a thank you party for you. A thank you party? Jean, when we heard the news about your illness, we were all so worried about- We can only imagine how much pressure you must be under as acting Grandmaster. We thought that since you so rarely take any time off, we take this chance to throw you a party. After all, you'll never let us do this once you're back at work. Uh, Jean? Uh, huh? Is this Jean when she's shy? I've never seen her like this. So? It's easy to forget that outside of work, Jean is just a normal person, like anyone else. I... this is just all such a surprise. Thank you, everyone. This really means so much to me. <laughs> well, it's nothing compared to the amount of work you do for all of us. But... There are so many things I still need to do. <sighs> Fear not. We want to make sure you could relax and enjoy yourself. So while you were away, we all pitched in and finished off your work for you. Every last task. Good! Did you really? Even the issue with the food deliveries? It was no different from what we see on patrol. A couple of hilly churls. Didn't take much to get rid of them. And the tax returns? I spent so much time doing library admin. 
A few more pieces of paper to deal with was really nothing to worry about. Because everybody pitched in. You can't expect one person to do everything. Well, what about Margaret's missing cat? Are you kidding me? That rascally prince was apprehended by the brilliant honorary knight. Enough already. No more thinking about work today. Enjoy yourself while you've got the chance. Uh, it is my honor to work alongside you all. Speaking of work, it must have been hard work to put all this together. Where did you find the time? <laughs> Actually, our friend here was the key organizer behind all of this. Me? See all of this food and drink? He made sure it all arrived on time. All I did was cook two things, and that's it. I don't know where the other things came from. Not only that, but he cooked each one of these beautiful dishes himself. I just cooked like two things. So relax on me. There's no this need to explains be so a lot. Of course, we also have Master Diluc to thank for the venue. Otherwise, we would be looking at quite an alarming bill right now. <sighs> Despite my initial reluctance to sponsor a Knights of Favonius event in any way, despite the fact that I hate you all, I do it for you anyways. I, like any other citizen of Mondstadt, owe Jean my gratitude. Although I hate, although I hate your job. I don't hate you. Oh, <laughs> Master Diluc, I... All right, all right. Jean's supposed to be taking it easy. Stop crowding her. Agreed. Now, let the party begin. Food! And then everyone ate, and that's it. It looks like everyone seems to be partying hard. Let's explore, look for Jean. Kinda thinks we should join in the fun. Sleeping. Let's go and mingle. Again. Oh, and because I think she saw Dinko upstairs by herself. Let's make sure the woman of the hour doesn't get left out. Where? Where'd she go? On the second floor upstairs, look for Jean. Oh, it is you. Yes, it's me. What else did you expect? Yes, there you are. I am just. Getting some air. Because you're antisocial. Uh oh. It seems like something's bothering Jean. I want to thank you again. Actually, I knew nothing about this whole thing either. Either way, it is good to be here together with everyone. It has lifted my spirits. And it has taught me something. What's that? Don't let everybody else solve their problems. I am definitely more of a dandelion knight than a lion thing knight. The lion thing knight represents Vanessa's past, a past in which she fought hard for Mondstadt. But it was the dandelion knight that represented her hopes for the future, a future Gee, belonging Vanessa, we'll be so to the newly of you right now. I do believe that Vanessa watches over us. Okay. The, let the wind lead. The winds of freedom will guide us along the path that lies ahead. <laughs> I hope. Yes. Now, can we end it? Yes! Act 1 complete.